we're gonna be playing Crash Bandicoot uh, with Skylander. And uh, what I wanted to show you is something that I didn't get to see. Um, I didn't get to see this. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, you remember one of the Crash Bandicoots, he had a jetpack and he had the bazooka. Uh, and when I talked about this before, I was like, this would be awesome to have in PlayStation All-Stars if they make a follow-up. Uh, but I, you know, I think this was not in the first Crash Bandicoot. This is not from the first Crash Bandicoot. I think this might be from two or three. The reason why I say that is I noticed that watching the Crash Bandicoot Insanity trailer at the PlayStation Experience, um, they only showed off Crash Bandicoot one, and I'm hoping, I'm just hoping that it's not like a Tall Tales type of deal where when they're done then you're gonna be able to unlock them and play them instead of having them all done at the same time available to play whenever the hell you want um some people like two the most some people like three the most some people like one the most uh so i just wanted to get that out of the way um so once again this is not crash bandicoot insanity trilogy i'm using this as a visual guide when we're talking about crash bandicoot i think they did an all right job uh recreating crash bandicoot and skylanders and it's the only modern version uh many of us had to play um bef before the the many many lucky few that went to playstation experience and got hands on uh with the new crash bandicoot game they are lucky um I know we had like one member from the PlayStation Legion went there. I'm planning on going to PlayStation Experience uh, next year. So I'm just going to have to get that ticket. Um, but yeah, I think that the new Crash Bandicoot is really fucking awesome. I mean, it, I can't call it new. It's, it's a remaster, but it's just so amazing. It's just so classic like everything is exactly the same it just looks great it looks amazing i love the auto save feature that they gave to us um also like uh that you got manual saves so um as you notice this isn't like the crash bandicoot that would even be resembled as the old classic uh, this is the one that they added in Skylanders is one that has been experienced and went through all different versions of the Crash Bandicoot trilogy. So, you know, that's why he looks like this and all of this other shit. And he can use all the different tricks and weapons from all the different ones. I do like that he has the classic dance and all. That's, that's pretty cool that they added. Um... But, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. There's not been a lot of people asking for um, Crash Bandicoot. Let me see. One, two, three, three, one. Okay. So this is something just... I, I never recognized this in the classic, so I'm pretty sure it's not from Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I don't know. I ever remember that. Um, the ruins, the Wampa Fruits, awesome. Then you got, uh, you got the classic sidekick to Crash Bandicoot. Just amazing. Ah, there you are, Crash. I have some news. Your old friend Spiral has been searching the islands for anything giving off... You know, I wish, and a lot of people have been saying it, I wish Activision... <laughs> Gave the same respect to Spyro that they just gave to Crash here. Bandicoot, but I believe this was more of a Sony thing because they been could have uh, did a remaster to Crash Bandicoot, but they just never did. Um, but the way that Spyro looks in here is horrific. He looks ugly as fuck. He looks nothing like the Spyro that I grew up with. Um, of course, this Crash Bandicoot doesn't look exactly like the one that we're going to be playing with next year. But he looks a lot better than Spyro, if you compare it. Um, 